can you hear me now? I don't think the mic was working. I got some people in there. I just want to make sure if y'all can hear me now. I think the receiver lost power. It's okay. Things happen. When you go live, things are going to happen. See? The mic is working well, but without the receiver being charged, it's not going to work. So I guess that I was talking to myself a while ago that I say, hey, how you doing? So let me start all over again. Welcome today, July the 6th. 2021 i'm your boy jesus ortiz the real jesus ortiz geraldine media network presents the push power to power show and the and the kidpreneurs vision foundation now that you can hear me now that i got your attention now that you know we're talking about what's your vision what's your vision and mission or what's your mission what's your vision and mission ah, i wish I, uh, it's okay i'm not gonna get mad so what's your vision and mission now that you can hear me as you already know, these are the mics that I'm going to be interviewing. A couple of, couple of uh, uh, minutes ago, I posted in that who was interested in being interviewed, live interview, at your business, from your business, some, something like that. And I know a lot of you already uh, comment below, so I know I'm going to DM you when I get home. But as you already know, my vision and my mission is my vehicle of the of my podcast, my show, the Push Power to Power Show. That my main focus is the Kidpreneurs Visions Foundations. Foundation. That's my main focus. Right here. Kidpreneurs. This is there's gonna be there's a lot of things that are gonna happen with the, with the foundation. I'm not alone. I've been out there having meetings and letting people know that that's my vision, that's my mission. And as you can see, a, a while ago I put a post of my daughter, that's why I created this. If you don't really know my story, please ask me. Let's go out to eat, brunch, lunch, whatever it is, or we can do a Zoom so you can ask me about my story as well as I wanna know your story, as well as I wanna know your mission and, and vision. So that's my vision and mission together. You know, that created that vehicle, that show, the Push Power to Power Show. To, to push that forward, to know that that's me creating this foundation, the Kidpreneurs Vision Foundation, so I can empower other kids. Not only that, impact other kids, but I'm not alone, not only myself. That it, these kids, I'm going to empower other kids to become a kidpreneur. So this is the best time, and I'm teaching them from the... I know that I'm moving around the mic, <laughs> but... I left it here and it was rolling down. So this is the best time to teach them from the age of seven and 12. That's what I'm doing from the age of seven or 12, teach them, implement these seeds on how to become a kidpreneur. And the foundation itself is going to create kidpreneurs, kidpreneurship scholarships for the kids that are ready. Not that they are ready, but I'm going to teach them, you know, the basic on it because I invested on this book and I read it and I know this is the best thing is number one thing to invest is on yourself but what on our future that is the kids the future are the kids so I'm gonna have a lot of these books and give them to the kids the kids that are gonna be my students I'm happy and, and so happy that I have one student already I already knew who he was gonna be I just felt it who that that was gonna be him and there's gonna be many more. And like I said, I'm not alone. I'm not. I'm not by myself. Soon, we're gonna create. We're gonna start the launch party for the Kipreneurs Vision Foundation. And uh, I know the date, but I, I don't really know if that's gonna be the date. But I, I said it was gonna be July 27, 20, July 27 of this month. And um, I hope it does happen. I know I have my friend Crystal. Shout out to Crystal Herman. She's she's on my vision. She's on my mission, and she says, "Let's help. Let's create this lunch party." And she started asking me questions, and learning and how you know to create this foundation better, and learning about it, and learning about how having a foundation because I really want to focus on this through the vehicle of, of the podcast, of my podcast, of my show, because we all have that power of voice. Your voice has power. The power of storytelling. So that's me, guys, in a nutshell. You know. That that's my vision. That the foundation and is gonna grow. 
I know it's the beginning of it, but I know it will grow. And again, I'm not alone. And again, I'm not afraid to ask for help. So any questions that you got about the Kidpreneurs Vision Foundation, please ask, don't be afraid. And you don't be afraid to tell people what's your vision and mission. And like I said, I'm not perfectly structured what it's, you know, like everybody else, when you, you ask them and they know right away, like, or they post it on social media, I know that this is my vision and mission. The Kidpreneurs, the foundation, work that, that that's my number one thing my number one thing that I'm focusing on but will the power of the push power the power so I want to help you I want to help the small business owners I want to create that live view that live streaming for you guys live on your business that people can know you people can recognize you who you are what do you do is that your business you know tell them a little bit of your story tell them a little bit of your mission and vision why you got there why you have that business? How long has it been that you've been, did you just barely start it? A lot of it, but it's just you. There's nothing scripted. There's nothing that is gonna be written down. No, it's you that comes from your heart, telling that out, telling your story, telling you the power of the story. You know, that's your vision. That's your mission. And it's okay if you don't have a structure as, a structure it already completely. That's fine, nobody, a lot of us are still trying to figure it out. What is the really structure of my vision and mission so I can start pushing it out? We might be pushing it out right now and that might not be it. And it's totally fine. I was doing a lot of things before that I didn't even know that this was really my mission and mission. So I started seeing signs. It's in tool. I saw those signs and I said, that's it. And I know that I had to create this. The, the Kidpreneurs Vision Foundation because of my why, my purpose, my destiny, that it's my daughter, that is my daughter for what happened to me, my story that happened to me. It created that eruption or whatever you want to call it to create the foundation, to empower other kids, to impact these kids. Not only by myself, but the work of all of these kids, who's gonna be impact on other kids? Who is gonna be the ones in charge of the foundation? The kids, the youth, the ones that are gonna be students of the foundation, the ones that are gonna pass and get the Kidpreneurship Scholarship to write their own books, to start their own business, selling a, a lemonade, a tea, <laughs> whatever it is, is gonna be, the foundation is gonna be that for them. And hey, sooner or later, you know, we'll have a little small school of Kidpreneurs and still run the Kidpreneurship program, the Kidpreneurship scholarships all of that is still in the works i didn't know how to put it blah like that into i met my friend crystal hermes and she told me what is your why what is this why are you doing this all of these questions that i needed to know about how to evolve the foundation and guess what she's helping me and she's gonna keep on helping me she's gonna help me get the launch party uh to start raising funds for the foundation because like i said i really truly want to do this and I'm doing it no matter what. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not alone and I'm gonna keep on pushing and I'm gonna keep on doing it, letting people know about the Kidpreneurs. Like I said, I'm gonna get, talk to the owners when they come back from, from, from vacation, because they are the ones that created the Kidpreneurs book. They are the ones that created the Kidpreneurs Academy. I invested on that and I had it all bought for myself. And I was like, what, am, what is it doing in my computer? What is this book just doing on, in my room not what am i doing i was like what is this that's when i started seeing more signs here and there that's why i want to work on a daycare for five years to learn the mindset of the kids of the youth from the age of seven to twelve from the age of seven to twelve i hope that y'all can hear me i'm sorry that the mic it's charged but the the little receiver wasn't so it's all right like i said things are gonna happen when you go live and it's normal you gotta keep on going. You gotta keep on going and, and telling the story and telling what you, your vision and mission to the people, to you guys. The same as you guys. Something happens, you still gotta keep on going. We're not gonna blame it. I'll blame the Facebook, blame this. No, 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 no. You gotta restart. Then restart again and do it again. Do it again. Even if you don't do it like pre recording and then, and then upload it and let people know what's your story. Let people know uh, what you are. I, I learned something before I finish up in a bit. I learned something very important. And I gotta work on that, and I know y'all gotta work on it. No matter what, you don't have to do it every day, but document 
you. Document yourself. Document what you're doing. Be you. People want to know you before they even start buying from you. When you document yourself and let people know, man, oh, damn, I just woke up. I'm about to eat some huevitos. You know, I'm about to get some coffee. But you know what? I woke up late. I'm missing this. I'm missing that. And you document it. You putting yourself on like, oh, this is my daughter. This is my son. You know, we're going here swimming. Oh, you know what? I'm going on vacation. They're seeing that. I want they want I want the people to see who you are, not from the success that you are already having, but for the failures, the things that are happening around your life when you're working through your business, when you're working through whatever it is that you're working, but people are watching you, they're saying, Oh man, he's real. The real Jesus Ortiz. Oh, she's real. Oh man, he or she are they documenting this. That they just documented that they got a Lamborghini. Shout out to my Ale my boy Alex. He just got a Lamborghini. That right there is is what you put in front. And I learned that. I'm, I'm, I mean, you already know that they tell you document yourself here and there, but we don't do it. I'm putting myself in it. I don't do it. I do do videos and this, but documenting yourself. Sorry about the noise on the background. I'm outside, but I want to do it outside. It's beautiful. But let's document yourself. Like I said, it doesn't have to be every day. Try to make it on the days that you want to make it count. Put a day to schedule it, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Saturday, and Sunday, or every day for 10 minutes. You don't have to go live, pre-record it, upload them, so people will know what you're going through the day, to, from the failures to the ones that you're mad because nothing that didn't happen or you lost money. When you document yourself, that's that, that, that you're putting yourself on online, offline, whatever it is, but you're putting yourself as people believing in you, on your vision, on your mission, that that's you. Oh man, man, I'm, I'm, I know Jesus Ortiz, he's putting this and that. I know he's not faking it. He's going live, he's pre-recording. I know he's not lying. Dang, he's telling us about this, he's telling me about that. All of that works, so it makes it easier. So when people come to you, they're like, oh, I pretty much know a little bit about what you're doing. Let's sit down, let's have lunch, brunch, dinner, so I can really know what you are. And, and you pro much probably you're not even selling anymore. You, just, you already sold yourself to the people in front of you. You sold yourself, you know, on whatever your vision and mission is. So they can ask, hey, so what, are, what, what is your charge? What are you charged for this? What are you charged for that? I want to help. I want to I wanna, uh, donate for the foundation. Or how can I get on the video live? Or how can I do this? How can I do that? All of these things, whatever it is that is your service or product, when you document yourself out there, something that I got to do too and schedule it and do things like that, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. <laughs> Sorry again, you know, but next time you'll get the true mic and the sound quality of it. But right now, I couldn't say no, and I couldn't say, hey, you know what, forget it, I'll do it tomorrow. Uh-uh, you gotta do it today. That's my vision and mission, the Kidpreneur Vision Foundation, and helping the small business going live, live streaming, you know, from your business, wherever you are selling tacos, being out there, you having the other mic, I'm having this mic, going that conversation, and you're making those tacos. This is how I make the birria, this is, a, man, I'm just giving you here some, some tips about it. Oh man, boom, 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 boom. Hey, if you get here right now, you're gonna get a free taco. You must come right now. Come on, man. And I said, I wanna do, I, I was doing that before. And I was charging to do that. A small amount of the small businesses, I can still help them, but they can still making some noise so they can get known out there. And now that I got a little bit of more more people believe in me and more more followers and it's not really much about the followers but of that people believing you and trusting who you are that when you put out content out there king content is king as, as cash flow is king people are gonna know you and they're gonna follow you you're gonna share 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 and people are gonna know and they're gonna appear and they're gonna go out there and buy from you and they're gonna say whoa i saw that video with jesus ortiz and you and you said you were giving this free or whatever it is bam again i'm just giving you some so, you know, I'm teaching and educating you here a little bit, a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there, but that's what I'm doing. That's what I asked was my vision and vision, you know, through that, my show or the podcast, it comes through the Kidpreneurs Vision Foundation and helping the small businesses, small businesses, small business owners, because, hey, we're the backbone of America and we're here to stay. We ain't going nowhere. Just like, what, if, what is it, uh, the, the Wolf of Wall Street? I ain't fucking living. I'm sorry about my language. But I am fucking leaving. You should be saying that I am fucking leaving. Because you got here for a reason. And you know what's your purpose. You know what you want. No matter what is behind, front, up there. 
that is trying to put you down, it's trying to get you to quit, boom, you tell them, I ain't fucking leaving. <laughs> Mike, drop, I'm down. Any more questions about the Kidpreneurs Foundation, about the Push Power, Power Show, about being in the podcast, I'm right here, let me know, and I got all the answers for you. I might, I might still trying to figure out some of the answers for myself, but hey, it's all good. Y'all keep on having an amazing, blessed Tuesday. And any questions about it, let me know. And you guys that already commented on my post about having the live stream, I will DM you tonight, letting you the information about how we're gonna do it, when is the day, what is the charge of it, boom, boom, boom. Let's make it happen. And all of this is helping me pay, like everybody has paid the bills, and guess what, and growing the foundation, because right now I'm growing it out of me, out of my pocket. But as we start raising funds for the foundation, boom, I'm going to be focused on it. Still doing the podcast, still helping the small business. But the number one thing is the Kidpreneur Foundation. I'm going to be in it. Boom, boom. Having more students. Those students creating more students, empowering other kids. Damn, you can see my energy, man. You can see my energy. And I'm not alone here. We are here to help each other collaborate and make this happen because the kids are number one investment. Because if we don't do this now, guess where they're going to be at? We, yes, I'm not even going to tell you, but you just guessed on that. So I'm here, and that's why I created it. Not because of me, because of my story, because of my princess, my daughter, Melina Ortiz. Much love, love ya. Your boy, the real Jesus Ortiz, is out. And again, drop the mic. <laughs>